Hello there, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. I'm a big fan of channels such as Electro Boom and Big Clive because they both seem to have an absolute vendetta against the capacitor. Yeah, me too. I hate them. Why do you hate them? Well, it, it means every time you have to sort of power cycle something, you have to unplug it or turn it off for at least 10 to 30 seconds. Oh, like restart your router in that? Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. Like, oh. I probably wasted about 15 minutes of my <laughs> life at this point on these guys. I could do with some of these, actually. My Super Nintendo needs a new one. Today, we'll be overloading one of these, putting a few too many beans through it, and filming it with a Phantom 7510, the fastest Phantom that currently exists at the time of this recording. When shooting at the extremely high frame rates of the TMX 7510, your exposure time is so short, you need an absolutely savage amount of light to light the subject. Isn't that right? Yeah, I can barely even <laughs> see you. So this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor, is that right? That's correct. It's 1000 microfarad and it's 16 volts. I've, it's rated I've become very used to this symbol, the little um, lowercase u, meaning micro. Oh, you deal a lot in micro, <laughs> don't you? It's on here as well. All right, I'm set to 80,000 frames a second on this first one. Pretty wide, and our exposure time is six and a quarter microseconds. Goes without saying, don't do this at home. Don't touch any capacitors of any kind at home because they can hold their charge for a long time, which would be quite dangerous, especially larger ones in TVs and computers and things like that. Um, the way I'm going to explode this guy is by passing a voltage that's too high over it. Now this one's rated to 16 volts and the pressure's going to build up and explode. Hence the goggles. Hence the goggles. I'm also going to hide under the table. Yeah, I'm going to hide under the desk behind me, I think. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Turning on. Increasing voltage now. Oh. There we go. Unplugged. Sound of, oh, God, look oh, at the flip. Look it's look like the particulates. A, oh, God. They all shot out of the top. Look at that. I don't really want to breathe that in. I'm going to blow it away. A little bit smoky. Wow, already. Yeah, I didn't have to pump up the volts very high. Like, this one's only 16 volts, and it went pretty quickly. Oh. Ah, it seems to have like a vent at the top. Yeah. A little spewer. A little safety spewer vent. That is moving really quickly. Like we're, we're at 80,000 frames a second. It just looks like a steam train. Right? Yeah. But that must be happening incredibly fast. Yeah. Interesting discoveries. Yeah, so it seems that there's like a breakaway area, like a frag grenade almost, like an area that cross there is built to allow the pressure, if it builds up too high, like if it overcharges like what we're doing, it seems to just come out of the top rather than build up in itself and explode. Yeah, it's oh. a lot of, uh, it's a lot of safety measures. Do you remember those lithium batteries we did with like the, the four vent holes in the top? Yeah, yeah like it's to like similar. Let the stuff out. Whereas some of the smaller ones, uh, I think this is the largest one that doesn't have one. It's just got a flat plate. Mm. So I'm assuming that potentially this one is more liable to explode rather than just sort of vent its guts out over the top. Power's on. Amping up the bolts now. <laughs> oh! Flip! A bit of it went over it. Oh, well, I was right. <laughs> Goodness me. That was very different. Yeah? Yep. I tell you, when it popped, I was sat under the table and it's just like this snow fell down. I was hiding over there and, uh, well, you'll see what I found. Oh, what? <laughs> like a rocket. What? Yeah, watch the way that the material on the outside bulges and then actually wraps around the top half. Oh, it like yeah. shoots up and engulfs the top as it all gets sent up with like a rocket. The outer wrapping is like really. Oh, what? That's an arc. That was just an arc across oh, the. Oh, right. <laughs> God. <laughs> and like that's a... like stuff melting and sparking. It's like a firework plasma explosion almost, isn't it? That was so cool. You would never think that that was on like a millimetre scale. No, it's like a, it's like a firework, isn't it? Yeah. Much. It landed right there. No way. What are the chances of that? Triggered it and it went ding, 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 ding. Wow. Can I touch it? Yeah. You can see the coil of material here. Yeah. A very thin membrane of, of uh, conductive material, a plate, and then there's your insulating material here. Oh, yeah. You like a bit of that? Yeah, I like a bit of that. Turning it on. Voltage is cranking. Now. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that one's just completely gone. <laughs> Not too bad on the lens. It's good. It's moving up. Oh, 
It's like taking off some. It's like squidging up the wire. Oh, oh the bottom oh, blew wow. up. Wow. And there's some arcs as well. <laughs> it's different every time. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I, it I looks, saw some other stuff happening. It looks like uh, almost liquid when it initially explodes, doesn't it? There's like definitely some sort of liquid almost in there. Oh look, yeah. Something I spotted when I looked at it afterwards, the wire melted oh. and broke. Look at it oh. get red hot. It's got red hot there. Is that a flame under there? Is it like on fire? Oh look, there's sparks and stuff look, behind look it. Look at that, well. that was like full on plasma. Oh yeah. You see this melted metal here was one of the legs of the capacitor and this is what it should look like. Woof. Woof. That's Indeed. power woof. That is a power woof. So we've mainly been working with the biggest sized one with a vent and the biggest sized one without. What's this one about? This one's the smallest size one. <laughs> just to see if it acts differently. Yeah, I'm just going to see if it has like some sort of different properties to the medium and large. Might have, like, I tested it before and it popped quite viciously. The sound mm. was quite like powerful. So sometimes these little ones might pack a punch. All right, I've changed frame rate to 100 and 87,500 frames a second. A bigger woof. <laughs> okay, we have introduced a fan, switched to the probe lens, we're very close up. Got a very bright light up front. <laughs> it's wobbling all over the place. <laughs> well, in slow-mo it won't move. Yeah, but. I know, right? I have to turn the voltage up higher on this one. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Power on, voltage up. Whoa. Whoa! God! What? A bit of like flaming debris fell down under the table. Even though it's macro, this, this like it, it's so much smaller that it doesn't look the same. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened there? Jesus! What was this plasma? And then there's like a flame here. Let's go it? back to that swell. It like expanded at the bottom and then in the top it also went. It, like, it was like a it's snake. It's like a ripple. Like a, yeah, like a ripple. It was like, like a... <laughs> <laughs> God, it just exploded like a balloon. And then, all of this gump. Oh, that's what they saw falling to the ground on fire. That's Look at that, you can see the blue in the flame. Okay. Whoa. What, Right, Th this is blowing out an exposure time of oh, 2.6 microseconds. Don't you think it looks like we're in space? Yeah. Like, it looks like space. This is definitely what I saw falling to the floor when I was under the table. Look at the spinning piece of metal debris, like molten... A little bit of lava. Yeah. All right, in order to calculate speed... Pretty much exactly 8 millimetres long. 8 mil long? Mm-hmm. Turning on, cranking up. Oh. oh, another flame ball came down. This oh. would be good. You think that would be a good one? Yeah. Yeah, without macro, it really shows its true size. <laughs> it's absolutely tiny. All right, here it goes. Oh, so now you can much more clearly see why it's inflating like that. The gas is releasing at the bottom, but because the wrapper is attached to the bottom, it just inflates. There's like nowhere else for the gas to go. That's so weird. And there's just arcing fireworks. <laughs> Flipping like, egg. Like a power station exploded. Look oh, at that. Man. All of these smoke trails look wicked. They were really cool. Turning on, cranking up. That completely lit up the room. Really? It went, what? I saw a massive flash of light. All right, I, I would like to see it weaponized. All right. All right, this is Gav speaking to you from the edit. Our mics weren't on for the shot for some reason, so we're gonna just recreate it here, aren't we, Dan? Yeah, yeah, we do our best. All right, okay. Oh! Oh, there's peeing everywhere. Oh, oh, there's a hole. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we were temporarily without mics there, but not to worry. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, where did the cap go? Because it's made a hole. Is it? Is it in here? Do you think? It must be. It must have landed right in there. Oh, it is as well. Yeah. Right at the bottom. Look, you can see it here. 
<laughs> there's the capacitor in the balloon. It must there's have the just hole it made there. It must have just shot right in with absolutely no resistance. Yeah. I think it's small enough that it could just tear through. That's wild. Definitely didn't have the the oomph to come out the other side. No, I mean there's like quite a bit of water in there, but I'm actually surprised it just went clean through, you know, and the balloon didn't split. Because the balloon was pretty Yeah. Pretty full. That was, uh, that was similar to what happened on this morning. With Scofe. Scofe. I notice you're standing right I'm behind I'm standing me. right behind you. Right, here in we case go. my hair gets wet. And. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Scofe. Scofe. Am I going to. Yes, I am. Rockets in. <laughs> it's just like what? it was nothing. It's like a meteor on a planet. Did yeah, you see that, it just like, went in. Shockwave. It's like a meteor hitting the ocean and just creating yeah, a hole. Yeah, it's still shockwave. Nothing's come out yet. Oh, look, you can see there's tiny ripples all yeah. the way around the balloon, like miniature capacitors. It's like an asteroid sizes. hitting the Earth, and now the water's coming out. That took so long. It's probably in the other in the other side of the balloon at this point. It's sparking away. I wonder if it's going to finish the reaction before the water hits it. <laughs> it's the water heading straight for the... Ooh, Ooh. No! <laughs> and we're done. Oh! oh we, okay. Oh, right, okay. I think, uh, I think let's keep the water away from the electricity now and uh, I think we're done. I'll be honest with you. That was a lot more carnage than I was expecting you from such a minuscule little thing. Mate, the like, size of them. How weird was it when we were zoomed in? really tight it looked like you're in space and yeah. this was huge and it's just eight millimeters long and there was bits of metal hitting the ceiling about 30 feet up yeah i was expecting just like a ka but it was you know all these like gas and gumph and plasma and arcing and all the stuff that just to the human eye is just like a puffy white frame flash i feel like we got some stonking looking footage there we it's definitely like, needed the faster camera didn't we yeah it's like blues and purples and greens i couldn't believe it yeah that was mental i'll let you in a little secret now I've been emailing with Mehdi from Electroboom, and it turns out he's bang up for a collaboration, no pun intended. So if you'd be excited about seeing that, let us know in the comments, and he'll come down from Canada and bring some goodies with him for us to film on this exact camera. Let me just critique you there. Yep. You should have, you should have said, I'm currently emailing him, and you're amped about it. Well, where were you when I was talking 16 seconds ago? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> messed it up. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo. All the other stuff as well. There's buttons all over the place. We'll see you next time. Love you lots. Ta-ta.